Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how you can use Shader Graph with your low poly assets. If you already tried to use Shader Graph with low poly objects, you might have faced some issues. And the reason is how low poly assets use the UV mapping. So I'm using Blender to create an additional UV map to fix this issue. So let's hop over into Unity and I show you the issue and how to fix it. This is a project using the Universal Render Pipeline and I added this cube to the scene and this cube has a very simple shader graph attached to it. This shader simply projects this checkerboard onto the object and I added two parameters, one for the scale to scale the checkerboard up and down and one to the offset to move it around. So on the object I can scale it up and down and move it around. Now here I have this low poly crate coming with the Synthi Pirate pack. So what happens if I attach the shader graph to this object? I take my material and assign it to this crate and you see it's completely black. So there's no checkerboard visible. Now what happens if I offset the checkerboard? Still there's no checkerboard visible, but the crate changes the complete color from black to white and back. So to understand what's going on and to fix the problem, we have to export our object to Blender. So I select this crate here. I'm using the FBX exporter. If you want to learn how to use the FBX exporter to export and import low poly files to Blender, watch my last video. You find the link in the description. So I'm using export to FBX. I'm changing the name to create exported. Exported. And then I hop over into Blender. Okay, so here we are in Blender with a new project and the default cube. And the issue that we are facing has to do with the UV map. So we go over to the UV editing. And what you see is for our default cube, every face of our cube is mapped to a corresponding area on the UV map. To make this more understandable, we can add a default color image to this cube. So create new and then we can call it color map. We use the generate type color grid and press OK. To make it visible on the cube, we have to add this image to the material. So let's go over to shading and shift A. Search for image, image texture. Add this to the base color and we use our color map. Go back to UV editing and we are going to material preview mode. And now you see which face is mapped to which area on the grid. And I can select all and then scale the map and this corresponds to the scaling of our checkerboard in Unity. Or I can move it around like with the offset in Unity. Now let's import our crate. I'm hiding the cube. Go to layout, file, import, FBX. Then I have here my crate exported. I have Unity import settings, import it. And if I go to material preview mode, you see it already has the right material. I just have to fix the blend mode has to be opaque. And now we have our crate OV. Now let's go over to UV editing. We don't want to use the color map, but we want to see the texture that comes with the pirate material. And what you see is that all the faces are not mapped to areas, but simply to points on the UV map. You can zoom in. So each face is just mapped to one of these two colors over here. This model uses so-called collapsed UVs, which is very typical for low poly models. With these collapsed UVs, you can assign a color to each face but you can't project a complete pattern on the object. So with our checkerboard example, it will always either select black or white for each face, depending on which color is underneath these collapsed UVs. Now to fix this, we can apply a little trick. 
First of all, we want to keep our UV map with the collapsed UVs because we want to keep the colors of our object. But we can add a second UV map to our object. So go to object data and then you see UV maps over here. And then we can add a second one. You can rename it to set UV set one. And then over here in the UV editing, we have to set it to UV set one. Now for this, let's switch to our color map. And now we have to create our UV map. This process is called UV unwrapping and it's a complete topic on its own, but for a low poly object it's usually not so bad. First of all, let's switch the materials so we see in the preview what's going on. So on the material, assign the material that we created before with the color map. If we switch to object mode, we see there are only two colors picked from the complete color map. If we go back to edit mode, we see these two colors correspond to the two dots on the UV map. There are two options for unwrapping, one automatic and one manual. And for some the automatic unwrapping works fine, for others like this crate it doesn't work that great. So I will show you both approaches. Ensure you are in edit mode, then make sure you are in face selection mode and then hit A to select all faces. Now either under UV you have smart UV project or you can hit U and then you get this context menu with the same options. Go to a smart UV project. Before you do this, make sure on the UV set, you're on the UV set one. So U smart project. This angle limit gives Blender a hint, which edges between faces to cut open. Hit OK. Now you see all the faces have been unwrapped to this UV map. Now to preview the result, we have to tell Blender to use the other UV map. So go to the object data and then hit the camera next to our UV set one. Now you already see the issue. The problem is that adjacent faces on the object are not mapped to adjacent areas on the UV map. We select this face, you see it's over here in the middle and next face is here at the edge at the red area. And what we rather like to have is that complete face of this crate is mapped to a continuous area on the UV map. But you really have to try it out. For some object it works fine, for this crate it doesn't. So we have to switch to a manual mode. For the manual unwrap you can go to UV, then select unwrap but then you see you get a warning on error message, unwrap failed. The problem is Blender doesn't know where to cut open our object and to flatten out the faces and put it onto the UV map. We have to add so called seams where we tell Blender to cut open the object. So it's a little easier without the texture and we have to go to edge selection hitting the two or over here going to select mode edge select. Now we want to cut open the object like the cube along these sharp edges. If you select this edge then you can hit U and mark seam and then you see this seam becomes orange red. So now we have to mark all the seams where we want to cut it open. Now after marking all the seams, select all faces, hit U, unwrap and now you see it pretty much looks like the UV map of our cube but it's still rotated. So let's manually rotate and scale it so it corresponds to the UV map of our cube. Go to the UV map, select all, rotate, should be like that and then scale, maybe just move it a little. And this looks fine. Now let's go over into serial preview mode. Let's go into object mode. And now we see that each face is mapped to a continuous area of the UV map. And if we select our other UV set, you see the collapsed mode is still there. So let's export our crate and go back into Unity. But before this, Let's switch back the material to our pirates material. Show in object mode, select this object, go to file, export, 
FPX, then I have a preset for exporting and I call it create with UVs. Export and go back into Unity. So I exported the crate from Blender directly into the assets folder of my Unity project so I don't have to import it again. Here you see that's my crate UVS and if I move it in here it looks like the original one. Now if I add my checker material to this it still looks like the unmodified. The reason is we have to tell Shader Graph to use the new UV map and not the original one. So let's duplicate the original checker shader graph and rename it. Let's call it low poly shader. And edit it. Now up here, the only thing we have to change is instead of using UV0, we have to set it to UV1. Then save the asset, go back to our scene and we have to create a new material. So right click on the shader graph, create material, and it will automatically create a material from the shader graph. Now let's assign it to our new crate, and you see, now we have this checkerboard, and if you click it, now we can change the scale, and we can change the offset. Just to give you the comparison, this table has been unwrapped with the automatic unwrap and it works quite fine on this object compared to our crate. So let's assign this low poly shader material to this one. And you see it worked pretty nicely. You see there's a seam here in the middle, but it's not too bad. So now let's create a shader that looks a little nicer than this simple checkerboard. We want to create a shader graph that overlays a pattern on the existing color. So let's go to our low poly shader and remove the checkerboard and the offset scale. So we start with an empty shader graph. So the first thing we want to use the default texture of our crate. So create node and search for sample texture 2D. We select our texture that comes with a pyro pack and now we can just plug it into our base color and make sure here on the sample texture we have selected UV0. So this texture uses the collapsed UVs. If we save our asset and go back to the scene, we will see our object, the table and also the crate have the normal color that comes with the original shader. Now we want to add something on top. I'm selecting a noise texture and we take the gradient noise. We can reuse our scale. So we can zoom in and out on this noise texture. Now for this pattern, we want to use our UV1, the newly created UV map. And for our low poly objects, we don't want the smooth transitions, but we want to have sharp edges. Let's create a new node on the math round and we have our step. Let's create a new parameter, a float for our step, add it in. And now we can decide where the cutoff is between white and black. Let's move this a little back. And now we want to have a color. So we have to multiply this pattern with a color. First of all, create a color parameter, just call it color. Then use a multiply. Let's select kind of greenish color. And now we want to add the color coming from this texture and our original UV map with this newly generated UV map and this overlay pattern. So let's create an add node. Want to put this into the second and this one into the first and go to the base color. And the preview is looks a little strange, but let's see what happens if we go back to our scene. Save the asset, go to our scene. And now you see we have the original color coming from the brown here and the overlay. And in the shader settings, we can define the scale. We can scale it up and down. And here you see that there's the seam 
on the table, while on the crate, everything smooth as we have manually unwrapped these faces. And we can select the steps, so from zero, just with some marks on it, to almost full coverage. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. And now have fun with Shader Graph and your low poly assets.